everybody, welcome back to XCOM. It's Operation Humble Fog. This is an extract advent supplies mission. Now, in contrast to the first one that we had, no lost, which could make things more challenging, but it could make access to the crates a little easier because there'll be less enemies scattered around. So hopefully things go as smoothly as the first time. You guys actually seem to really enjoy that. Uh, the way that that mission played out. So these are, in my opinion, a nice change of pace. Uh, one thing I've learned recently is this Marksman's Carbine. Uh, if we look at the salvaged enemy equipment section, I glanced over this at first when it said uh, cannot be easily upgraded or modified. I thought that it couldn't have any uh, attachments on it. That just means it's not going to gain the bonus damage from completing the integration bridge text. We can actually use upgrades on it. Uh, we're not going to do any right now. It's providing that plus eight aim as it stands. So pretty happy with that. But uh, yeah, let's rock and roll. Weather Grill, Reactor 4, Serenity, Musen, Stone, Anger Bot. With 77 aim, I want to point out. Very impressive. Let's see what we can get done here. Today's trivia question. This is going back into the archives a little bit to remember all these names. Who is the only ranger, sword or shotgun class? to win their season's total kills title. A, Rajin Dragon Darkwood. B, Sila Blake Hawk. C, John the Pious Aeneas. Or D, Lewis 420 Falstro. Let me know what you think. Uh, today's log is an epilogue from Norm Waffleman as we uh, saw him go down in episode two. This is written by Dracula. Their raid against the advent was a success. I got to ask them, hmm, they say that right now XCOM has been formed, and they know where they are. They agreed that I can go with them. Finally, after years of locating them, I promised I will save my people no matter what. Hang on there, my brothers and sisters. And that was the last log that he wrote. R.I.P. Okay, Humble Fog. Let's go. Advent forces are in the process of air That's a number of awkward dead guy right in here. Area, and we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Well, this is an Locate interesting little map. And Firebrand will handle the rest. Yeah, very interesting little map. Let's see what we got here. And sectoids, Pathfinder. Cool. Very cool. Um, what I do like is we have some cover along this wall here. Uh, I'm looking to see if I can just visually pick up any additional boxes. Looks like maybe here, maybe something there. Uh, that's really all I see at the moment. Let's bring Serenity over to this side. And we'll get into the back of this makeshift U-Haul. I think otherwise we're going to send everybody around this left side as much as we can. Got it. Angerbot. Man, you have got some very interesting stats. 77 aim. The mobility is being boosted because of the bullpup, I think. Uh, oh, Lightning Strike as well, of course. Yeah, so I think this and the Bullpup helping quite a bit. I'm tempted to run it right up here, but I'm going to maybe reconsider that. Move, move, move. And then Weather Girl, let's put here. If anyone's going to get spotted, I'd rather have you in the front. And then Reactor, come on over. like they can smell us. I don't love this. We might be far enough away where we can still sneak our way over there. Oh, it's it's right on the cusp. Uh, Weather Girl, in fact, cannot move. Let's send Angerbot down here, I'm finding another group. Here. Oh my god, holy crap. Okay. Okay. We might have to fight. 
And that's a bummer. <laughs> that's a bummer for a bunch of reasons. Headed there now. Musin. Roger. We'll head here. Stone. The good thing is, okay, like, I I mean, I'm nervous because obviously reinforcements can happen when will happen once we start this. The thing is, um, they're lower, they're lower tier enemies. It's just the, pro there's, the problem is that things can, <laughs> things can go wrong. That's, that's the problem. Let's be honest. Order's confirmed. Moving out. It's unpredictable. Sketchy. All right. Let's see how this feels. They are coming right at us. Very good chance Weather Girl gets spotted here. Okay. Okay. That's a bit of breathing room. The question is... The question is, do we just... Do we just battle here? Because I can't do anything else. The only the only thing I could consider is maybe they walk into here and we overwatch them, right? This Pathfinder with all that armor is kind of annoying. That said, uh, we do have we do have a bunch of like a bunch of explosives, which is always fun. I mean, that's pretty strong. That's pretty strong just to open it up. The only concern I would have with that is that these guys come down and Weather Girl is flanked. But we have the extra armor. I, I should be a little bit more confident in that, probably. Marksman's Carbine there. Actually, we have Prep for Entry. And this frag as well so that would be a that could be a free action because we are pretty close um but we're only going to hit two so we still have other problems but we're not going to get a great opportunity to use this the other problem is we could potentially get flanked from that side we've got this crate actually blocking line of sight fairly well there so we probably don't actually get flanked. Hmm. But then it's like, yeah, this is going to be really difficult <laughs> to do, I think. We could hope that they walk back as well. Maybe that's the better play so that we can still push down here and Position ourselves for a couple of crates. I don't know. I, th I think this might just be really tough either way. All right. You know what? We're going to we're going to do this. Time to burn. Now, they are applying the burning here, which wasn't happening last time. Maybe it's because of the hay. Maybe they have to be around hay the whole time. Okay. Now this is showing as... Oh, that was... Okay, that must just be holdover from the previous turn. Um, since this guy is burning, he should be dead. Where is... Stone. Now, he's only got the knife, which means he might not have enough here, but with the burning, that should be enough to do it. Very cool. Oh, not cool. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, not cool. All of a sudden, very uncool, actually. Extremely uncool. 
couple ways to deal with this. Blinding protocol, potentially. We still have this trooper. I have to presume... I have to presume this guy is going to die. I'm just looking to target him. I gotta presume they're both dead. Which means now... This is actually not bad. This is actually not bad. Might even kill the trooper. Opens up the Pathfinder for additional shots. Because now Stone is flanked. Then, then assign us. We could go for the Frost Bomb. But I'm not even hitting two. And I do have a follow-up with the Carbine. Come on, baby. Okay. Okay. Reactor. Serenity. Oh yeah, the Carbine was is on you. That's right. Okay. I mean, Serenity could come in here. Reactor 4 could come over here. 70 aim on him. 63 on Serenity. So she might benefit from getting a bit closer, but his will be more guaranteed. And then we have Anger Bot as well. And Anger Bot, we have Combat Protocol we could use for some guaranteed damage. That combat protocol, though, it's only two. Hmm. We could go for the frag there. I guess it all depends on how these go. Oh, my. Six? What a crit, dude. That is... Much appreciated. <laughs> Much appreciated. I can handle that. This is a 50-50. Did not land. 74? I mean... I'm gonna take the guarantee. He can technically still be flanked by this guy. Pretty likely that that happens, but... Nice. We're getting Illyrium cores dropped pretty regularly. We're pushing them back. Okay, interesting approach. That means that they're they're close to us. Now, I would love if you weren't so far away. Reinforcements are coming ASAP here. Um, yeah. So who am I going to send in there? I'm going to scout with Stone here. <sighs> He's there, but I don't know if he has friends. I'm going to go for it. He does have friends. He has a lot of friends. He has friends, okay, but we don't see Pathfinders. It's the Assault Trooper, who, yes, is problematic. However, we kept our rocket available. And this could be... As good a time as any to let her rip. Um, this could be frost bomb potential, actually. Pretty good. Pretty good arm. Now, this one I'm not gonna. Well, maybe I will end up tagging this because it's free. Thirty aim there. I do have to worry about scatter a little bit if we go with that rocket play, but I don't really see a better option with Weather Girl. I'm on it. I also don't know if if this gets larger scatter if um, if they move. 
Oh god. See that that's actually it's actually a pretty big concern because I don't want to blow up those supplies either. We do have suppression available. But it's not his aim I'm worried about, it's his grenade. So maybe the play here is to frost him. We come and tag that, frost them down there. I can actually come down here for a pretty decent flank, or I can come up into half cover, which I'm not a super fan of. Yeah, she's not going to have the range from here. We'd be one tile short doing it from this side. Hmm. I think if we're not going to have a sh take this shot, I think we should probably frost him. And this might be a two crate mission. I could bring Angerbot down here. Maybe I'll put Angerbot here and we could first aid, uh, sorry, yeah, aid protocol stone. She'll be in full. Assault Trooper is frozen. The only other thing is Angerbot can actually get to this. Which is pretty sick. But incredibly, gr incredibly greedy. Incredibly greedy. But I just, I can't even see any other crates. And with reinforcements coming, like, I feel... We might be playing with fire here. Because what I can do is I could put Weather Girl somewhere here to maybe draw fire from that Advent Trooper. And then we frost. I think that's what... I think that's... That my gut's telling me we frost. A steady signal from the transponder. Firebrand is en route to make the pickup. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. If I come in here, I don't want to invite two shots to Angerbot because that's enough to kill. And that scatter scares me way too much. So I think I will bring Weather Girl in, like so. Now the play with Angerbot is what? If I come here, I take this full cover. Those guys are not going to make it to see me. I, I learned up here you can, you can toggle this between 1 and 2 to see like how many possible actions they're taking. So he can't come over here and flank me and shoot. So that's good to know. And that does position me a little closer. I could always come up too and just uh, hunker down. I just, one thing I'm, I'm trying to recall is if these crates will, um, if they pull right now or at the end of the turn. I think they pull right now, which means he could get flanked by this trooper. So that, that does concern me for sure. What's over there? I don't want to have another aid protocol mistake. So we're going to put that on. Reactor will take full. 
and Serenity, I think I'll just dash up here as well. I don't see these guys making super aggressive maneuvers. Running. We'll overwatch here just in case. Yeah, see, they are going to pull first. Lifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get the rest. Oh, okay. So ours don't come. Oh, he did he go back? This guy is coming in. Oh, that would have been so nice. This guy's coming in, but we've got cover everywhere right now. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so here's the reinforcements now. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. <sighs> Marking those crates, man. What do we do here? Stone could obviously come kill this guy. Well, actually, with that sword, with that knife, maybe not. If he was closer, we could use knife fighter. And that's not a lot of tiles difference, eh? Oh, you know what, though? Let's do this. Oh, okay. This season, I, I am going to try my best to experiment with different builds. And, like, that right there has paid for itself. <laughs> In my opinion. Weather Girl, I kind of want to get in here to drop a uh, defensive mine on. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get close enough, though. Because we can go out, we can skip a tile. So let's say I'm here, I'm skipping a tile, and then I'm hitting like, yeah, I mean, it could probably work. The thing is, there is that other trooper down there, and then they're going to drop in like, what, three units probably? And if we're able to clear out that little batch... And another group doesn't come wandering in, which is, I feel, unlikely. Then we'd be in a pretty good spot. Oh, we've got actually Musin here with an even better opportunity. But Musin's aim is so good with that rifle. Other thing I could do, and maybe this is the play... Bring Weather Girl up. So if that trooper comes in, Weather Girl's a better target. And we just go for this. Okay, sick. Oh, you had loot? I didn't even notice. Now... How does this work at an angle? So it basically starts the tile after. So one, two, three, one, two. Yeah. It would be this little section if we're here. Either way, it kind of achieves the same thing. Now, they should go on to Overwatch anyways, but I don't want to leave somebody just out in the open. I say that, and Stone is sitting here in the open. However... I hope it's worth it. No problem, boss. Get these guys basically as close as we can. Stone's actually in a good position to actually land a shot. I feel like this Advent Trooper that we saw is likely to, to show up here and break an Overwatch. But we'll see. He might not have an opportunity. These guys are going to take everything. And we got mechs. Hello. 
Only two units, though, but one is a mech. Probably gonna have some armor. Riot control, yep. Wait, is it two units or one? Three. Oh, there's a bit there. Are you kidding me, guys? Holy frick, that scared me. Okay. Well, that was solid, although we did miss almost every shot. Jeez. Okay. We have a bit of a breather. Oh, God. I think that's a crate there. The, the question is, how far do we push this? Because... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How far do we push this? We know there's a trooper out there. He's likely running to another group. And that group is also now likely running towards us because of yellow alert. We have two crates. They've marked two here. If I don't take this now, it's useless. One possibility is we rearrange and we try to get this one over here. But that's a, that's a two move crate. The thing is, if I go here and then a group walks into us and they start shooting, be much... Oh, we can actually reach it with Weather Girl. Ooh, I like that. I like that. That gives me a little bit of extra protection. Moving to position. Let's take a look. We're clear there. I'm going to blue move some of our front team members. Rolling. Huh. Well, interesting. Interesting choices. I do want to keep everyone together because we're going to have to call an evac. And I'm going to want to make sure that everyone's in range. Okay, weather girl. Time to tank. Oh, no enemies. Okay. Got it covered. Scanning. Fire shots. Literally nothing we can do there. <laughs> These missions are so tense, man. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, okay. Advent forces on the ground. Okay. This is happening. There goes the shield. Could be worse. This is our... This is our... We go now. We leave. That's it. That's all. I think. Is it? Do we fight this? Do we fight this? It's, it's so tempting. It's so tempting. It's so tempting. For one... Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Hey, where'd the thing go? Ah, we lost the evac. Or the reinforcement flare. Okay. Um, oh, there's another crate over here. Wait a sec, can I do this? Yes. Oh, there was a mod that I need to add that was posted in the Discord that um, colors this different colors based on if your all of your teammates can reach it or not. Okay. Let's walk through a worst case scenario. I come down here. Okay. I flame the sectoid, the troopers, and the Pathfinder lives. Okay. Possible that the troopers die. Sectoid definitely does not die, but is on fire, which means he probably can't mind control someone. That said, super flanked by the Pathfinder. If he crits, maybe we take four damage, but we do have armor. And then I think the drop was somewhere in here. We would set up a bunch of overwatches again. Uh, 
Weather girl. I wish I saw where that thing dropped. Should I? I should almost check the. I should check the log. I should check the video feed. I wonder if there's a, a bug fix mod for that. For those flares disappearing. Either way, that's tough to do without all the info. <sighs> this is so tempting. What else do I have? Hold on. I mean, I have a grenade from Angerbot. That's really about it. I've got the slash too onto the Pathfinder. This is not bad. Um, the only concern there is that, well, Stone, he's got six health too. So depending on how that flame thing goes, could be worth checking it out. That would mean I'd have essentially four overwatches. And then a live sectoid. I have to assume these two troopers... Oh, maybe they don't even die. I don't know. Two to four is just so weak. Two to five is better chances, in my opinion. But then what drops in? What drops in? Hmm. I'm doing it. Fired up. I'm doing it. Oh! Absolutely beautiful. Now, is the sectoid burning? I don't think so. There might be something to do with cover. Maybe full cover they don't take burning? I don't think it applied. Which does leave us open to some scary possibilities now. I wonder if I'm better off running and gunning this. Because he'll, be, he'll be flanked. Come on. We're making big, risky moves here. That's something. You know what? I could even blinding protocol the Pathfinder. To help that. Okay, please pay off. I don't think this hits stone. It's disorienting enemy units. But he should be fine. Yeah. Buckle up. Just give me troopers, baby. Just troopers. Nope. Two troopers. We got a worse, more aggressive pod than the first one. But they got it. They got to overwatch. Oh, they are okay. Okay, yeah. That might have been a spot where we could have dropped that mine. Actually, I can't remember where she started, but come on, guys. Wow. So unlucky. And now our boy is flanked, isn't he? Holy frick! The six flank! Oh! Wow. Not worth. 
The idea was was great, but the he got the oh the sixth blank. So gross. Oh my god, not worth. <laughs> Frick. Not worth. Well. Now we have other problems. This was the Illyrium core, right? We're going to have to do some shenanigans here. Ah, the greed. If it would have worked, if it would have worked, it would have been genius. But now, it's not. It is not genius. Ah, oh, that was rough. I think I'm going to try and get this and then get out. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of overwatches. These guys are really far at 65. We're, we're taking some necessary chances here because I, I can't safely trigger like individual overwatches here. I don't think. And I can't drop the Sky Ranger on someone. Which means I need to go here, break the overwatches of all three of these guys. Actually, the mech, the mech actually might not see here, which is kind of a good scenario. That's fine. That armor and the dodge. So I think if I put this here... We should be fine to get out. Now the question is, do I run it with her again? Three to four with armor. I think so. I'm on it. Beautiful. Now I'm wondering. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's a little too much. HP for us to deal with. We're a little short of being able to get there. Reactor could do it here. Yeah, I was just wondering what that cooldown was. It's a couple of turns. I think we took that risk. We got penalized. I mean, the theory was pretty good. Um... Him coming down for that flank, actually, yeah, I didn't... We, there was this little nug here, and I was like, yeah, we get the flank, and then seeing us flank, yeah, I don't know. I didn't... Still, I wouldn't... I wouldn't expect him to crit for six. So many things had to go right there for them. Ugh, no mirror. That's, that's a tough one. Man. That's a rough loss. What MVP on Weather Girl? That's pretty good. 30 damage. Reactor 4, 9 damage. Heavy hitter. Serenity. Musion, 15. Stone, 1 for 2. 
Anger bot. Oh, did I actually... I don't even know if I lifted him. I meant to. I don't think he had anything... I don't think he had anything on him that we'd be missing. Thank you, Speaker. Yeah. Little greedy. Little greedy. Damn it, Stone. Three missions, three kills. That's our fourth already. We did get... Okay, let's focus on the positives. Number one, we just got four promotions, which is huge. We got a decent amount of supplies. We got Illyrium... We'll have alloys. I mean, the way I'm looking at this is early on, if we lose these soldiers, it's better that we lose now than later. But the counter argument is <laughs> obviously that we're losing the best that we have, the top of what is available. So, yeah. Okay, what do we want to do here on our medic? Emergency aid I really like. Because with Fleet Footed, I can run out and heal somebody at maximum dash. Combat conditioning is pretty decent. Advanced Trauma Kits is really nice. Extra Revive Charge. Reviving a unit gives additional 3 HP. No longer ends your turn if you have actions remaining. Also increases the chance that soldier enter bleed out state rather than die. And increases bleed out turns for all units in the squad. Both are very, very helpful. Hmm. I think actually the bleed out might be the way to go for right now. Combat Engineer, level two technical is burnout. Activating your flamethrower leaves a small smoke cloud around your position, providing a defensive bonus. That's really neat. 20% defensive bonus to anyone within. Okay. Entrenched, we know how this operates. Capable of reducing damage received all the way down to zero. Pairs well with either armor or dodge graze builds. And smoke screen. Free smoke grenade. Hmm. Interesting. And then covering fire in the XCOM tree. I think I'm going to try burnout. I'm loving the flamethrower. See, the other thing is, if that burn was applying, I, let me, am I missing something? Hold on, I gotta see. I gotta see why it's applying to some things and not others. Disorient and panic, yeah, see, that'll be really good. But if that, if that sectoid was on fire, that probably doesn't happen. Musion, Grenadier, Blast Padding, Entrenched. Let's stick with the armor. Also have Heat Grenades. Okay. 88 Supplies, 28 Alloys, 9 Illyrium Crystals, 1 Core. But it cost us a Soldier. But we got 4 Promotions. Yikes. Nobody is safe, <laughs> Nobody is safe right now. Okay, Zaya. There, a marine. And it's very suiting too, I feel. Yeah, awesome. Happy to have a marine. That's sick. Okay. Who's in the pool? Bobo and Nilros. One day on debris. Reaper coming in right now too. That'll be nice to see. There it is. So Lumos, hacking increase, doesn't really matter, and uh, Brunton, promoted. We may have chosen a different oh. means of resistance. The sick looking Reaper. people fight for the same reason, for the world we once knew. Together we will end this occupation, or die trying. My people have thrown off Infiltrate the scavengers? Is Infiltrate and the one that gives us the extra timer? Survived. We don't rely on the alien's technology, 
and we would never live in their city. All resource rewards from scanned rumors are doubled. We move in the shadows. This is interesting because in CI, Until the last covert infiltration, I feel like we see fewer of these. Commander. My Reapers are up for taking on some additional orders. And the scanning times take quite a long time to get them accomplished. Um, yeah, okay, this is nice. Timer doesn't begin until the squad's lost concealment. I like that a lot. Hail Rider. What did you become? Sapper? How many sappers do I have? Three? I'd love to do it, but we just lost an assault infantry. And you look like you like swords. So we're going to do that. Try and keep somewhat of a balance going. Where are we at here? One day on debris. Then we still have that free clearing. Oh, what's this? The Reaper one. Okay, let's think about this right now. Here's a promotion. Ooh. Okay, okay. I have 15 people available right now. So, here's what we're going to do. This is for mobility. This one's for a promotion. Now, who would I who would I put in here for promotions? Hmm. The way I like to do this is like the people our top ranks could benefit the most, especially the ones that are really far away, like reactor. Um, we do have other field medics. I think only one. Yeah, Sarah. We have other assault infantry, so their backups are really squaddies here. She's so close to a promotion, I feel like it's kind of wasted. I could send out Zaya. But she just pretty much needs to go on a mission and get a kill or something. Odin Viking we need to meet here. Let me think about that. Let's go meet our Reaper. Virtual Odin King. From Canada. Ooh, Olivier Harvey is the real name. Little is known about Olivier as he was good enough to or he was good enough to share some basic information about himself, but apart from that, he's been somewhat standoffish. Long before meeting XCOM and the Reapers, however, he had been fighting Advent in his own way with the little resources he could. Brave and resourceful, he managed to get a small crew who are currently mostly being trained with the Reapers due to his encounter with them. His goal wasn't really shared with anybody, but it can be assumed that Advent is an obstacle to it. <laughs> hey, man. Fair enough. Welcome to the squad. I'm happy to have you here. I like a good Reaper. Um... Take out. Yeah, I'm going to recruit here. So we're up to 159. I think that thing completed. Uh, this will is just so low. It just concerns me. I think I'm going to recruit Bobo. Then Ezra shows up. Bo look at both of these guys. Really low will. So our next recruit is probably Nilros, but... Ezra's here. Let's bring in Nilros. And then that opens up into Nina Verducci. Better aim, better will, lower mobility. Okay. Let's meet these guys. All right, Bobo. Let's see what you're all about. Born in the small town of Peebles, Matt Glangan. No, he'll, we're, we're going to stick to Bobo pretty cleanly this whole time. In the borders of Scotland, Matt grew up working on the farm. His youth was, youth was spent lifting hay bales and sh herding sheep, but Matt had a tendency to get bored. And when that happened, mysterious pranks occurred in the surrounding villages. One such prank was painting an entire meadow pink and orange because he thought green was boring and shearing mohawks into sheep to make them more interesting. Despite his shenanigans, he was never caught. Matt left the borders to pursue his dream of being a circus clown with his alternate name of Bobo, and the shenanigans 
continued as he toured the country. Many a castle had the word Bobo sprayed on the side. The kids loved him, but when Advent arrived, all that, cha all that changed. And as they shot into the crowds, this large figure with a pink curly wig and ridiculously small car came barreling out and gathered up as many of the frightened children as he could and led them to safe safety. He joined the resistance but was soon kicked out as operation after operation were blown due to his pink wig being seen in the wilderness just before the resistance tried to strike a facility. Head hung, Bobo struck out on his own and spent time customizing his wee clown car into an armored vehicle of terror as it shot plasma, rockets, and pink dust from it, tormenting the alien invaders as he dedicated his life to keeping the children safe. The legend of Bobo, the brave, is still told to this day to kids in school who know if they are ever in trouble, the oversized man in the pink wig will save them. Bobo has heard rumors of XCOM and is keen to join them to finally end the years of alien occupation. Yo, Bobo, happy to have you. You were determined to be in this campaign one way or another. You showed up in almost all of my testing campaigns, and, uh, yeah, you made it to the real show. Nilros, Psychedelic, Gilleth. Ooh. That's a cool look. Okay. From South Africa. There's no way nature is separate. We're part of it. We communicate with the world every day with every breath. Everything we do is our declaration of our love and adoration or our denial of it. Very little is known about Nilros and the rumors that follow him are as various as the scars on his face. All that's known truly is that he arrived at a resistance haven one day looking as though he was on his last leg. Thankfully, with the help of some medical personnel, they managed to destabil or stabilize him enough to bring him back from the brink of death. Upon his awakening, he didn't share much of his personal information except his name and surname. He kept saying that someone by the name of the Wild Mother saved him and led him to this haven. Though no one saw anyone with him upon his arrival, it is safe to assume he truly believes what he is saying. This has led to many in the haven to question the mask that he is constantly wearing, as they fear it might be the cause of his visions. Any and all attempts to remove the mask have been met with aggressive pushbacks from Nilros, or Nilros, probably. As he states, it is what helps him see the world for what it truly is. Yeah, he's definitely huffing fumes in there. Thus, the Haven has left him in his mask in peace as he hasn't shown any threat towards the people. In fact, he has been a great asset in finding plants that are safe to consume. What's strange, though, apart from the obvious when looking at him, when rumors of XCOM started to surface, he showed great interest in joining the cause. Said something about XCOM will bring the greater good to the once blue and pure Earth. Who knows what that means, but it is certain that Nilros is dead set on freeing humanity from the Elders and is willing to join XCOM to do so. Ooh, a little bit of mystery there behind the mask. Standard Intelligence, Bobo Standard Intelligence. And the last two we had were geniuses. That's cool. Okay, Debris in one day. Let's actually go into here first. Um, we're going to stick to rookies, I think. How long is this? 13 days. Once these guys are in, probably closer to 15, 16 days. I don't have any... Well, actually, yeah, Gilleth could benefit from the uh, mobility, only being at 11. Pretty good aim, though. Happy about that. And then let's send you out with your recruit mate, Bobo. Uh, we won't negate any wounds here. And then exhaustive training. Improve combat intelligence, dodge, and a scientist. So this is where we want to put in somebody that's at like, I think genius level, right? Oh, pool mother is genius. Interesting. And I'm thinking about psionics. I don't know if there's something above genius. I, I think Savant is maybe above genius, but I don't know if that's a, a psionic grade thing. So maybe I'll, I'll hold off on that until I find out. Um, 10 days on this one, pretty quick for a promotion. Just gotta decide who. So I think sappers are a decent option, but both of these guys are extremely close to promotion 
Uh, getting a Phalanx leveled up could be pretty helpful, I think, but they're also pretty good tanks for us. Uh, Koenig's close, Skirmisher's close. I'm thinking it's gotta be one of these two. Thinking it's gotta be one of these two. Mikra's pretty tanky here. So... Yeah. The reason, I, the reason I say he's tanky, he's also got a lot of mobility, but he's worth, like, investing in, in my opinion. Man, look at this wound on Powell. That, that was an aggressive wound. So we have uh, that mod, Realistic Wound Times, which, as I said, uh, lower, uh, lower intensity wounds are going to be, on average, a bit lower than uh, you would expect but higher intensity wounds are going to be higher than what you would expect. So we get penalized heavily when they take a lot of damage. Where's my other field medic? Bumblebee? Yeah, I think we're going to have to get Bumblebee to step it up. Take a regular rifle. Grenade there is fine. And you can go out with takeout. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. Alright, there's our debris. 108 supplies as well. Maximum power consumption reached. So that means this one should be free. Alloys and crystals. No money, but. Still decent for our overall economy. And we got this for free because of the research thing that we did. So the immediate unlock. And now what I'm thinking is, for the time being, we put our power relay here. We could destroy it later. Power relay construction initiated. And if we continue to scan, this would finish in 12 days. I could start clearing out this. This would be a, a pretty good workshop location, I think. We also have the Proving Ground happening soon. Where is our research? Resistance communications in five days. So we can start building um, network towers and stuff. Thing is, okay, so my, my supplies are currently at 77. So, even if I rush this power relay by putting in uh, Joseph, this finishes in eight days if we continue scanning here, sure. But then I don't even have the supplies to... Well, actually, supply drop in four days. So, by then, yeah, maybe I would have enough to build our next facility. Because this will happen in four resistance comms in five. Three days to grab the gear or to grab the thing. We could go and open the black market as well. I think I'm going to stick here, try to get those that infirmary up. Our cooperation has proven hey, three smoke grenades? Medikits, flashbang grenades, smoke grenades. Well, smoke grenades it is. I don't typically use these a lot. But if I have them and I don't have to buy them, maybe I will. All right, six, what are you going to be? <laughs> here come the Marines. Here come the Marines. Now, we only have one Marksman. We have one Combat Engineer. We have one, two Phalanx. Who's our other Phalanx? Vanille and Stiggs, right, okay. Oh, this is, I, man, I just love XCOM. <laughs> I love playing this. This is just so enjoyable for me. Commander. Modular bullpups, promotion on Trell. But after a few days rest, everyone will be ready to get back out there. Okay, so I think that we just get that. I don't think we also have to follow up with the research, but we'll find out once our other research is done. Uh, promotion on Trell, what are you going to be? Oh, interesting. Very interesting, Trell. We have two field medics. I think we could use another marksman. And you look like a marksman. Plus, actually, actually, if you think about it, check out uh, check out the looks of these two marksmen right now. 
could almost be sisters. And look at the aim. Okay, wow. Kurz is actually even more impressive because she's only at squatty right now. Holy smokes, that's baby. That's, yeah, that's sick. That's one thing I got to be looking at a bit more when I make those, those choices too, not just what we have. We're up to 25 out of 30 crew. Keep that in mind. Supply drop hitting two days here. Avatar project thumping. You're joking. Now, I don't have any actionable leads. Project, Commander. If we can make contact with resistance forces in the region, we could move on that facility and set back the aliens' work. But uh, there is one that you can get in the black market. So having one always available would be really helpful. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. You have made considerable progress against hey. the aliens over the He's past generally month. positive here. Whoa. So this knowledge, that's a big jump, but at least he's not into that next section here quite yet. Stiletto rounds. Interesting. Very interesting. So this new layout is something we're going to have to pay attention to. Um, there's a hidden event here. Use intel you've gathered to uncover this for 30. Um, but it, it's listed like this because eventually we're going to have a bunch that are active. I think I can... <laughs> it's not all advent soldiers for one. But I think I can live with stiletto rounds. We could try countering this one sight unseen. I hate to spend my intel. Let's just wait and see what happens. So do I do I do do I keep this in right now? Where do I go to infiltrate? That's the question. There's only one chosen active at the moment. So he's right close to his, his like crossover point in the next um, bar. So either one would be good. Like trial by fire could be decent. I, I think this one's going to give me the breathing room that we might need. You're the boss. Oh, more rookies. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we... Uh, we look at our covert ox. That's what we do first. Counter chosen activity. We need a sergeant for that. Reducing income. Might be worth, though. Another promotion here. Gathering meld. First time we've seen this. This must be a new update with the the big um, PEXM. Psionix mach Machina overhaul. Looks... This is nice because we can negate... Uh, capture oh interesting you have to put both in that's a, that's a big ask we don't need this now but still power relay enclosures reduce their cost by 50 percent 18 days for that and a scientist ability points i'm actually leaning towards doing this just get our faction influence up. We get another card available. Uh, there's a chance of an ambush. There is a chance of an ambush. Scanning sites could be good. But none of these are, like, hugely important. This one actually draws my attention in the most. The experimental item. We could get uh, AP rounds. Any of the rounds would be good, especially with the Keeper class. 19 ability points are always nice. We can't use these for a while until we get the training center up, but we should be able to get them up soon. I think we're in the third month now, right? So that means that mocks are going to start showing up soon. And they're really hard to deal with. They always come in via reinforcements now. And uh, in our testing, they don't respect the defensive action only from yellow alert. How many sergeants do I have available for this? Just Mikra, hey? Yeah.
Minor ambush chance, but he is pretty tanky. I could give him a vest here too. Or maybe a med kit would be better. But then I have to build another med kit for our team. Yeah. This, he can absorb more damage with this. Then who do I send is the question. We've got our two new marines here. Pretty good aim on Wolf. I could actually send out uh, Tiggs with him. Because Tiggs could tank some stuff, provide protection to him. And if we can't, if we can't like, scurry through the ambush... And these are now down to minor. I mean, it might not... They might not even get ambushed. And then we're working on the Chosen, which I really should do. Yeah. Let's go. My client will do whatever is needed. Uh, 77 supplies. So I could bring in... I could bring in one more recruit. But then I'm one rookie short still. If I can avoid sending out others, I will. So maybe... Resistance Communications finishes soon. I could come over here. Even if I just do one day of scanning, I pick up the increment. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. Okay. So there's a civilian disguise. New facility, resistance comms, new research, resistance radio, alien alloys, resistance contacts available. Bull pups popped from the previous thing we were doing. Mm. The intel is much more necessary when we get resistance radio. I'm just looking at everything it unlocks here. All the other autopsies, which could be nice. Some of the new enemy uh, autopsies do provide us with some interesting outcomes. Getting into the proving ground could be really good. I think let's knock the this one out. Officers appear to be similar. It's only four Not days. Basically the same as the common advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate advent forces. Okay. <sighs> now, we need to stop Man. hemorrhaging soldiers. We can now work to establish contact with local resistance groups operating out of regions around the world. Once we've collected sufficient intel to make contact, We'll need to scan the target Man, imagine we didn't fail that Commander, second mission. So right now we don't have enough and we had intel. Bearing on the local resistance forces in imagine how area. cool that would be. Alright. Let's do this. Let's recruit yet another. So I think between these two, the obvious case is Nina. Although, yeah, the mobility here. But I think early for not knowing what class they're going to be. I think this is the, the pick. Nina Verducci. Ooh. The Rohash of Eckertho. <laughs> cool. Okay. Yeah, and Rohash is probably the next pick. So it looks like Ezra is currently stuck in the recruits list. So what do we want to do? Can't put a sergeant there. Not gonna do the promotion one. Not gonna do meld. Not gonna do the power relay. 
ability points, maybe. I think actually experimental items here seem good. And this can give health to one of our guys. Oh, we actually have to... Sorry, my bad. My bad. We need to meet Sovereign. Awesome name. Love that. Okay. Nina Sovereign Verducci from Italy. Rome specifically. Nina belongs to one of Italy's old aristo aristocratic families who managed to maintain their wealthy status after the abolishment of the nobility. Her family was eager to maintain their affluent lifestyle and were among the first to bow to the Advent Coalition to secure their status. They eventually enrolled Nina in Advent's Gifted Future program to solidify their position further, and she received an extensive education. Due to her high scores, she was further selected to take part in Project Overseer, an attempt at using indoctrinated human operatives as spies and assassins against the resistance. Nina managed to break free from her handlers and escaped before the indoctrination was complete. Her illusions of Advent's benevolence shattered. In the short time since, she has dedicated herself to seeking out other unfortunate victims of the project and freeing them from Advent's control one way or another. Her family is reportedly none too pleased about her traitorous actions and has def uh, placed a hefty bounty on her head as a result. Nasty. Now unable to return to her former life, Nina is ready and eager to turn Advent's training against her would-be masters. There are things that go bump in the night, Central, and we are the ones who bump back. I love that quote. I don't know where it's from, but I do love that quote. This is really cool hair. I don't think we've seen a soldier use this yet. Man, that's awesome. Okay, above average intelligence. Mm. I'm trying to think if we're in the third month or not. I think we are, right? I'm just thinking about mocks. Anyways, they might be out here. So we got enough. We can send her out to recover this. There are some ambush potentials here. Oh, that's right. I'm going to probably need another one. I am going to need another one. Oh, and there's a capture chance. Oh, I can... Okay. So I think we'll use supplies here to negate the capture. If I do that, I can hire another one. <laughs> and... Uh, and do the supplies to at least negate the capture, but if they get ambushed, that's still pretty rough. We could, of course, start building the disguises now. They're pretty cheap. This helps with mobility. Isn't wearing any armor to mitigate pain. Each time they take damage, 50% chance to take plus one damage. Ooh, that's a new change. That is a new change. Harder to detect and shortens infiltration time. Yeah. That's a little scary, actually. <laughs> that's a little scary. I'm wondering if I shouldn't send her out with somebody a bit more established. Maybe I send Odin. Odin's naturally pretty sneaky. Takes everything down to minor. We can negate the capture. Save a little bit on recruiting more. And have a really reliable damage output. Let's negate the capture. That saves us some, some money. Okay. We're going to go back and finish some of these other things. Guerrilla Tactics needs to pop. Infirmary needs to pop. Power Relay would be great. Wait, do I have my Engineer in that Power Relay? I do, right? Yeah, okay, good. And I did save my Engineer. We still only have one Engineer. Guerrilla Tactics School, now operational. Okay, cool. Um, now, let's see here. Let's look at some of these new guys. So combat engineer, 60 supplies. 
All combat engineers start at level two proficiencies now, which is nice. So their flame would get that disorient among other things. Uh, Phalanx guys start at level two, regardless of rank. Keeper gains the ability to train rookies. Huh. Gain the ability to train rookies as keepers in guerrilla tactics school. All keepers gain the steady hands ability. That's really interesting. Um, that's the other benefit here is we can train as specific classes if we want. Um, I don't have any rookies at the moment. But they're getting that job done on the battlefield anyway. On those covert actions, I should say, specifically. Alright. Remove negative traits. Now, last season, we learned to just kind of grin and bear it through the negative traits, and usually those are turning into a positive. Um, I do need to put an engineer there at some point to improve our healing rates, but we don't have a lot of people actually injured right now, so it's not a huge priority. Let's see if we can finish this power relay. I take it this was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. By autopsy of the Advent, Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, the Advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the Commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes. What we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live Advent officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. New objective added. All right, proving ground, Skulljack, all that good stuff. Progress, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest findings. The Advent Captain seems huh. to provide a means of stabilizing the link between Training the center construction and the Advent Network Tower itself. Commander, if we're going to try to build this Skulljack Interesting. that we came up with, we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. So here's the thing. Here's that magnetic grenade from the trooper. I wouldn't mind checking that out. 50% reduction in building the training center for 10 days of time invested. Um, yeah. I think we probably need to do the trooper... So we can start getting to mag weapons sooner rather than later. This gets the Scion Autopsy. Okay, cool. I like that. And then we have to do Alien Alloy Integration, which is 15 days. Thing is, if I do this, that's setting us back a lot in terms of time. But we've had to spend a lot of money on soldiers, which we would be doing anyways. We probably have more rookies than ever before at this point in time, or more uh, soldiers in general, even though we've lost four. Um, 
Hmm. I don't know if this is worth the 10 days, honestly. It's gonna save us like what? 75 bucks? I think it's 150 to build. Maybe even maybe even only a hundred. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm gonna pass on that. Um this mag grenade I'm interested in checking out. It's only two days. So let's hit this. And then I'll finish my power relay here. Wong is back. That's great. Okay. So, we now have uh, 25 out of 15 power. That's without staffing somebody in here. If we do, that gives us a plus 5. Our power actually goes up to 30. That's crazy. I might have said 25 out of 15, but you guys, you know what I mean. You guys are smart. Uh, the next thing we want is the proving ground. 125 supplies. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, let's start clearing. God, do we need another engineer. So let's finish the supplies, open the black market. Avenger new Something's course. gonna happen here soon. I can feel it. It's gonna be gross and stressful. Our research was a success, Commander. Mag grenade. Despite my suspicions that underneath their similar exterior, these assault troopers would be different from the standard advent trooper, it appears that they are the same creature. The assault trooper has thicker musculature than the standard trooper, but this can be attributed to their equipment being heavier, and perhaps their training being more demanding. Other than that biological difference, the only differences are in their equipment, their armor is thicker and heavier, and their weapon is intended for close quarter combat. So we will try and read the, uh, the new ones that pop up. Concussive grenade augmented by magnetic technology. Uh, magnetic grenade can knock back enemies. Okay. Now. Trooper, battle scanner, meh. Sustaining spear. Mm, these are all partial. I feel like resistance radio is a bit of a trap. You know what? I'm gonna do alien alloy integration. Or, hold on, maybe, maybe I should be doing this. So I can start making more contact, at least with my initial two places, you know? I'll yeah, my gut tells me that's what I need to be doing. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Okay. So that's good. Let's see if we can open up the black market here. I know I got 13 available here, but I'm thinking in my head, we might have to do uh, an infiltration. We might have to do an assault mission. We might have to do a uh, um, haven assault thing. Speak of the devil. Ooh, survivors. Okay. So this is one of those missions that we started to see a lot in uh the previous campaign <laughs> funny enough we actually did see a lot of marines um however this mission type has been nerfed to not show up very frequently in uh covert infiltration so i'm gonna take this because it's a a it's countering that hidden event, so I'm just going to focus on countering that now. We get two squaddies out of this. One of them's a combat engineer, one of them's a marine, both of which could be very helpful. Get a little bit of intel, resistance rumor. Like, this is a this is a big grab for us. Um, Keaton Von Moffrichsen and Emika Mikami. There's Lost here. Setting course for the Mexican regional not only Lost, it's not the Horde. Commander. Should be aware, we're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. Okay, now the question becomes, can I get away with taking some of my lower level team? Um, I feel like our marksman, our newest one. Oh, she's injured still. Okay. 
Well, Dynamite, you're coming. Uh, Marchand, you're going to join us. We're going to bring... Man, Yggdrasil's aim is really bad. Really bad. We'll bring uh, Pool Mother with us, I think. You're very close to a promotion, and you have max will. Everyone should have max will. It's been a while. Uh, not everyone. I think we'll bring one of our marines. Let's bring six. And then we're going to bring a grenadier. Sorry, a sapper. I think I've called him a grenadier a few times. And let's give you the Lost Lure. No Field Medic. Because who would need that? <laughs> yeah. Do we have any PCS chips? Oh, we got Dodge. I mean, if I'm going to give it to somebody, it's going to be these guys. So... Let's do it. Pink point. Our first PCS chip. Enjoy the agility. Uh, I think we're going to have to unequip a few things. Yeah, let's do this. You take your carbine. Sapper with the lure. I'll tell you what. We're going to give you the shotgun approach this time. I don't really need to focus on a lot of explosives here. I wonder if that's actually the right call. Kind of feels like it might not be. Uh, you know what? Let's do this instead. I'll take a regular grenade here in case we do need to blow things up. And you can take the lure. And then we've got a pistol, which is not going to be very reliable. I think we'll go pistol here. Carbine, assault rifle on the marine. Eh. I think we'll take the cannon. Sawed off shotgun is there. Regular shotgun, bullpup, sniper rifle, carbine. It's an interesting mixture. I'm not saying that I'm totally thrilled on it. Let's take all the upgrades off now. Crit damage. I mean, our sapper arguably would benefit from that more, but I think the sniper does a pretty good job with that. And then reaction and nearby accuracy. I'm going to boost this. Our cannon's got the expanded ammo capacity. You know what? I'm going to get rid of that. One of the cool things that we can... Oh, right. Yeah, that's fine. Let's give the extra ammo capacity there, and then you can take the, the crit damage. One of the cool things we can do with this um, Keeper class, we can reload our Sniper if we're within range and just keep her filled up. But you can do the same thing with the Marine. I think all around, this is going to be a really fun class to experiment with. So do we have anything else? I don't think so. Do I want to take a med kit on someone just in case? I think we sent a med kit out on a thing, right? Yeah. 189 supplies. Let me actually take a look at something here. Yeah, I think I start the Proving Ground. Uh, training Center is 175 supplies. Not bad. I'll start that. Man, if we can get an Engineer, please. That would be... 
That would be cool. You should establish contact with the local resistance. That would be cool. As soon as possible. Okay. The aliens are undoubtedly moving forward with their plans. I'm aware, Council. I would love to do that. Trust me. Would I ever? I'll take a smoke grenade to maybe provide some cover to our front line. Grenade, grenade, grenade. It's all, all good. Frost bomb here for emergencies. And uh, the lost lure on Marchand. I think that's good. A couple of squaddies coming up. This mission as well, um, even in late game, will be capped at the level to which we can recruit people. So it's squaddy plus the next three. I think it caps at loot. Lieutenant, I want to say. Yeah, so it caps at lieutenant, which means we'll never get captains, majors, and colonels later on. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. We've got to stop hemorrhaging soldiers here. But uh, yeah, Ripperoni, it's a tough one. Oh, actually, hold on. I wonder. I wonder if I should be taking. Our combat engineer here. Her will is a little bit lower, but she has the, the flame, which for loss could be absolutely nasty. And then we've got a couple of tanks as well. I think, I think bringing, yeah, I think bringing her against the loss could actually prove to be pretty nice. Um, I'll give you a nano scale as well, because why not? And then, yeah, let's do this instead. Dynamite, Pink Point, Pool Mother, Weather Girl 6, and Star Grave. See you soon, guys. Bye for now.